So we're gonna split the video up into three parts. First, we're gonna answer product related questions. Second, we're gonna go a bit deeper into some technical questions around how it's built, engineered, what improvements we've made. And third, we're gonna talk about availability, launch dates, and how it's being manufactured. So we'll get right into some of the product questions. Um, one of the questions we got, or a few of them were related to the actual design of the product. And the question was, why don't we have room or designs for accessory storage? And the reason is, at the outset of the design, we wanted to make the unit as small as possible. And that meant kind of excluding all of the, um, kind of the accessory things you see on many pressure washers out there. We know a lot of users are going to be mounting this unit on the wall. So we wanted to just make it as compact as possible. Um, the other thing about it too, is that making it as compact as possible also helps with shipping to lower the cost of shipping, both for us and for you. So that was part of the design direction as well. We've also found based on a lot of our kind of consumer products that we build for different brands and so forth, a lot of users don't find some of those convenience features or accessory features that useful. And so we really wanted to just minimize um, everything about this unit to basically what the core of the product was going to be, which is really the motor and the pump uh, and make it as kind of valuable as possible. So on, the, on what accessories is the unit going to ship with? Right now, I think the package is going to ship with a very basic hose and gun package. And the reason for that is based on what we've seen and how users are using it, uh, a, lot of, a lot of consumers are going to want to buy upgraded hoses and accessories and guns and so forth, or they already have upgraded hoses and guns, and, you know, 50 foot hoses and whatnot. So we didn't want to artificially inflate the price by adding a lot of accessories that users might already have or were intending to buy different versions of. And so by keeping it very kind of minimal with basic accessories, a user can buy it, use it out of the box, and if they don't buy any accessories, it's gonna be great for them. Or if they have accessories or are planning to buy other accessories, um, they can kind of customize the product to suit, which is what we've seen a lot of users doing with the VE52. Can you buy the 2.0 without any accessories? This is a bit of a, uh, you know, this is a point that's a bit up for debate. Um, officially, according to CSA or CUL, kind of the rating uh, certification agencies, you're supposed to sell units with a gun and a hose and, and all those things. And you're not supposed to sell them uh, independently. Although some people do, um, uh, do and sell independent units. So we haven't quite figured out what you are and are not allowed to do. So for now, the unit will come with a basic gun and hose and, and uh, you know, tip system package. We have another question around, can we build the 2.0 or any other follow-up pressure washer to have an output of 2000 PSI um, you know, at 2.0 flow? That is technically not possible. And I'll, I'll try to explain in a nutshell why that is. And that's really a, a byproduct of the available energy out of a typical wall socket. So um, currently no kind of motor and pump exists that can perform at such a level. So what we have and what we've always targeted is to have that kind of 1000 PSI 2.0 as really kind of a a real benchmark in terms of performance, a real ideal balance of pressure and flow that is great for most applications. In our tests with you know, cleaning multiple surfaces, not just car detailing, but really most jobs around the house, you're gonna find 1000 PSI and 2.0 uh, to be the most effective balance. Any more pressure that you need or any more kind of a, a power that you would need typically can't be found in an electric pressure washer and you would likely want to step up to a gas unit. So really, you know, gas and electric units are, are a bit of apples and oranges and they shouldn't really be compared to each other because a gas unit is just going to be that much more powerful and can do things that an electric just is not capable of, especially 
when we're talking about a typical household soft kit.